The Languages extension in Joomla allows you to have many languages on your website. At the time of this recording, these are the languages available for Joomla. It's one of the most translated content management systems in the world today. Go ahead and click on Extensions and Languages, and you'll see that we have one language installed. All right, let's go ahead and install a language. Click on Install Languages, and I'm Canadian, so I'm going to scroll down here, go to page two, click French Canadian, and click Install. You choose any language you want. And just like that, the language was installed, and I can now use it. Click on Extensions and Languages again, and you'll notice that French Canadian has been installed, but English is still the default. If I go ahead and change this to Administrator, and then make French Canadian the default, you'll notice that now all of the words are in French, specifically French Canadian. Now, that hasn't changed the content on my site. Now, if I go ahead and head back to site and make French Canadian the default and hit refresh, you'll notice that Joomla has updated its main text to French Canadian, but the content that I have is still in English. Well, that's because we need to provide the translation for it. You'll also notice that not everything gets translated. Those are things you'll need to update yourself. And so there are several things you need to do. Number one, choose your default language, of course. Number two, update your content with the language of your choice. And then number three, provide a module that will allow users to switch between. Going back to English is as simple as clicking on it. If I head back to my administration and click English as the default once again, now I'm back to English. You'll notice the warning here. When using the multilingual functionality, the site default language has to also be a published content language. So that's important. If I click on content languages, right now my default language here is only English. So if I want to include the French language for my content, I click New. And let's call this French Canadian. All right, the native title. We'll keep it at French Canadian because I honestly don't know. The language tag is fr-ca. And for the language code, you'll note that it must be unique among all the languages. So once again, we'll do fr-ca. Image prefix. We'll come down here and choose fr-ca. And that's the Quebec flag. It's published, it's public, and it's available. Click Save and Close. And so now we have two languages that we can translate our content into. All right, the last part of the language extension is overrides. I love overrides. All right, let's say I want to change this from create an account to sign up. That's something I can really easily do using a language override. Now to enable that, you may need to come into users, options, and allow user registration, turn it on, click Save and Close. Then head back over to Extensions, Languages, and Overrides. Click New, and we're going to search for the phrase, Create an Account. And you'll notice that there are only two here. Now, this gets a little tricky. You have to know where you are in your site. Well, we're looking at the module for login registration right here. And we want to change the text here. So go ahead and choose Mod Login Register and change the terminology to Sign Up. Click Save and Close. Head back to your home page and hit Refresh. And now that text is changed. This is a really awesome feature of Joomla. Any default language strings that come out of Joomla core, you can change using an override. So a really powerful feature in Joomla, languages.